Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Unix. In today's tutorial we are going to see the another concept which is used or rather more often used in shell programming. And that concept is nothing but the file operators. Most of the times we have to deal with the various files, files during your programming. So there will be certain checks you need to perform before handling any files in your environment. How to handle such situations? how to check the files related parameters those things we are go going to discuss in today's session so let's start today's session so there are some several operations or rather the test operations we can perform on the file for example the very first operator hyphen b and then file it checks if the file is a block special file if yes then it then the condition becomes true so here condition will be in the rectangle bracket hyphen b dollar file dollar file is nothing but the file location where the file is stored so it, this condition will become true only if the file is a special block file hyphen c file it checks if the file is character special file if yes then the condition becomes true as like blo block file the character special file is also checked using the hyphen c and then file name hyphen d file it checks if the file is directory if yes then the condition becomes true as we know the file and directory names are quite similar so it quite it, it sometimes it could be possible we might be using the directory instead of the file so in order to check the given input is file or directory we can use this hyphen d option and we are in order to use how to use that you have to use in a rectangle bracket hyphen d then file name and then you have to close the rectangle bracket if it is directory then it will return true if it is file then it will return false hyphen f file it checks the file is an ordinary file as opposed to directory or special file if yes then condition become true so particularly this operation hyphen f file is more commonly used in the regular programming so this is the hyphen f is used to check the if it is ordinary file or not hyphen g file it checks if the file has its a set group id that is sgid bit set if yes then the condition become true if you would like to know what is this sgid you can refer my previous videos where i have explained in detail what is sgid is hyphen g then file so it will check whether that it is already set with the group id sg group id bits or not hyphen k file it checks if the file has the sticky bit set if yes then the condition becomes true so in order to check sticky bit you have to use hyphen k and then file name to check the group id sgid set or not you have to use the hyphen g there are some other operator which is very important such as hyphen p file which checks the file is a named pipe if yes then the condition become true if you are using hyphen p and then file hyphen t file it checks if the file descriptor is open and associated with the terminal if yes then the condition become true it is on the same line as the other options hyphen u file it checks if the it if file has its a set user id that is suid bit set if yes then the condition become true it's very simple it's a hyphen u and then file name hyphen r file so rest of the thing like hyphen r file hyphen w file hyphen x file it checks related to the permission on that file and it is very important while doing or while performing operations on the file hyphen r file checks if the file is readable if s yes, then condition become true if you pass hyphen r and then file in the rectangle brackets hyphen w file as we know w stand for writable so if it check the file is writable or not if yes then condition become true if we pass in the condition hyphen x file checks if the file is executable if yes then the condition will become true as like other cases hyphen s file it checks if the it has the size greater than 0 if yes then the condition become true so for example if you want to check the file with a zero size this will be the more appropriate condition hyphen s and file hyphen e file it checks if the file is really exists or not so that if you can check if file is exist then you can perform the operation instead of getting some other errors so this is very 
um, proactive validation of the file using hyphen e file here is an example where uh, we, are, we have to pass the file name and then it will give us the various options like whether the file is readable, writable, etc. So these are the theoretical details. Let's have a demo on this concept. In order to demonstrate, we have already created one file and the name of file is file test. So this file is stored inside Unix operations file. let's have a look on this file so if you notice this file i am passing uh, actually i am creating one variable and it is assigned with value of the file the file name is boolean.sh it is stored in this given location first thing we are checking with the if condition r file r stand for read if this file has the read permission then we'll get the file as read access then if the file do not have the read access it will give the false or it will give the file does not have the read access then we are checking write access if it is have this file has the right access then it will give us the file has write access else files does not have the right access hyphen x x stand for execute and it will check the whether the file has the execute permission or not if file does not have the permission then it will go to the false loop then we are checking, checking hyphen f file whether this is ordinary file or not if the file is ordinary then it will give us the file is an ordinary file else it will say us this is special file then we are checking whether the file is directory or just file so for that we are using the hyphen d and then file name it will tell us the file is directory or not if this is not directory then it will go into the false uh, else loop then we are checking, uh, checking hyphen s that is the size 0 file hyphen s file gives us result if the file is empty so it will give us to the true condition and it will return the file is empty else it will return file size is not non zero or not zero then we are also checking whether the file exists or not by using hyphen e option so we, we are using the if condition and then we have the rectangle bracket inside we have the hyphen e and then we are passing the file name and if the file present it will print us the file exists else it will print file does not exist so this is a very simple example and we know we have using some particular file before going to execute this file let's see the permissions on this file are what are these current permissions so that will manual check and will also check programmatically going this or uh, I will just do one thing and this is boolean.sh so if you see the boolean.sh it has read write but no execute permission and that is what we will be able to see so let's run uh, let's go back to the file location and execute file test so it prints the correct file has read access so we can see it has the read access file has the write permissions of course we can see write permissions present file does not have the execute permissions so you can see the there is no execute permissions file is ordinary file yes it is ordinary file it's not special file file is not a directory definitely it's not directory because it is a file file size is zero this is something wrong uh, we can check this maybe our code is not appropriate file exists yes the file exists I'll do one more thing I'll just edit it let's see why it's sure why it is printing zero maybe some correction S should be size file size is zero maybe some something goes wrong I will check later but now I will I want to show you some another interesting factor so suppose if I suppose by mistake I typed wrong word here something like that and if I do execute again so let's see what will happen so if I execute it you can see file does not have the read access file does not have the write access 
file does not have the execute permission this is a special file because it's not satisfying the given criteria this is not a directory file is not zero and does not exist so you can see the last statement it tells the correct thing about the file so one of this reason it's appropriate and the final reason i would say the correct one the given file does not exist that is the reason it will give those results let me go back and do vi so by that way you means if you check this particular condition file exists or not so that will help us to proceed with the other cases now there will be one more thing uh, let's change the name back and we'll change the permission and we'll see whether change the permit change permission will appear or not i'm just reverting back the changes let me clear it i'll go to the and you can see right now it's read write i'll change all the permission to all files and you'll see it has now the execute permission also and now execute this file test and let's check so now this for now if you check the file has the read access of course yes it has also has the write access and now it shows the it has the execute permission also it's not ordinary file it's not a directory this is something wrong we need to check and the file exists so these are the things it shows very easily and very conveniently so this definitely help us to do the file operations or to validate the files before doing any operation on such files this tutorial is going to help you to understand how can we handle the validation on the file uh, if you have any questions or queries you can mention in the comment section of this video if you want any further videos on any particular topic you can mention in this comment section as well thank you again for watching my video and have a nice time